Research headed by Professor Eske Villerslev from the Center for Geogenetics at the University of Copenhagen shows that modern humans colonized the world twice. This is in contrast to previous scientific belief that humanity discovered the world outside Africa in one wave of emigration. And the research shows that the aboriginals, Australia's indigenous population, are today sole descendants of this first wave of emigration. The forefathers of the aboriginals emigrated out approximately 70,000 years ago and reached Australia around 50,000 years ago. It's actually quite amazing to imagine uh, the journey that the ancestors of the uh, Aboriginal Australians took. I mean, you have to remember uh, at this time, 70,000 years ago, all of Asia was completely unexplored land for, for anatomical modern humans. So while our ancestors, the Asians and the Europeans, were sitting somewhere in Africa or in potentially in the Middle East, not daring, you can say, exploring the world, these guys actually swept across this completely untouched land, reaching Australia at least 50,000 years ago and crossing the sea. This study is derived from the DNA of a hundred-year-old lock of hair like this. The lock of hair belongs to an Aboriginal man from the goldfields region of southwestern Australia. The research team from the University of Copenhagen has succeeded in isolating and mapping the genome from the lock of hair. This is possible because the DNA encapsulated in hair is quite well protected from the ravages of time. And the genome analysis has proved that modern humans, Homo sapiens, populated the world in two waves. The first wave, from about 70,000 years ago, reaches all the way to Australia. The second wave mixes with relatives of the aboriginals in Asia, but never reaches Australia. This really changes the conception also of how genetically similar people are outside Africa. Uh, it now turns out that they are more diverse than we thought. Uh, and, you know, one year, two years from now, it could very easily, uh, or it could, it's very likely, I think, that we will see uh, other studies showing that there might have even be uh, additional migration waves into Asia and Europe that, uh, that is not recognized today.